Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Design Review Board public meeting of May 24th, 2018 is called to order. Please refrain from talking amongst yourselves. During the meeting, please turn off or put on vibrate all cell phones and at this time. If you need to talk, please leave the meeting room. Anyone who wishes to speak, including applicants, on any of the applications to be reviewed today are asked to completely fill out one of the speaker cards provided at the table by the front door and submit it to staff. You will be asked to speak by the board when your case is called. Anyone who wishes to be re-noticed about the project in the event of a return for redesign decision by the board must completely fill out one of the postcards provided at the table by the front door and submit it to staff to receive notice of subsequent hearings. Current DRB agendas are available by visiting our website at www.glendaleca.gov. A handout describing the procedures of the meeting, possible board decisions, and DRB appeals available from staff. This will be roll call. Board member Arzumanian. Here. Mr. Van Lian. Here. You're Mr. Simon. That's wow. Mr. Simon. <laughs> Chairman Charchian. Here. The agenda for this meeting was posted on the bulletin board outside City Hall at or before 5 p.m. on May 17, 2018. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm not aware of any oral communication. There are none here as, as well. And staff does not have any announcements. Would you like me to go through the procedures of the meeting or? Uh, no, we'll just uh, make the comment really quickly that two items have been requested to be uh, rescheduled to um, other uh, uh, dates. Uh, the first uh, case on uh, calendar, 1116 East Esmeralda Road, shall be continued to June 16th. June 14th. I'm sorry, June 14th, I apologize, 2018. And then there's also a continuance of uh, the last matter on calendar, 1633 Victory Boulevard, but a date has not been determined for that continuation. Correct? My understanding that's also June 14th. Is it June 14th? Okay. So those two matters have been continued to the June 14th, 2018 meeting. Uh, therefore, let's go ahead and get started with the first uh, item, uh, on, or the second item on calendar, which was the first item on calendar, 1026 Banford, which is PDR 1802044. And so um, that would be Mr. Nazarian. Did you want to start with the staff report? Sorry about that. Good evening and thank you. Um, I'm going to go through the staff report and then I'm going to come up and show the areas that um, the applicant will be adding square footage to on the existing house and then I'll be open to any questions. Uh, the applicant is proposing a 34 square foot addition to the first floor and a 745 square foot addition to the second floor and redesign of the front facade of an existing 3,982 square foot two-story single family residence with an attached three-car garage on a 12,725 square foot lot located in the R1R zone, floor area district three. Uh, the completed house will be a total of 4,761 square feet. The project site is an interior lot at the end of a cul-de-sac with a 34 foot, uh, with 34 feet of frontage on Bramford Drive. The site is developed with a 3,982 square foot two-story Mediterranean style influence single family home with an attached three car garage constructed in 1980. The street front setback will remain unchanged and the building footprint will remain in a similar configuration as the existing the new expanded front entryway adds mass but will not bring the building closer to the to Bramford Bramford Drive because the building angles the building angles away from the street and the entry is on the side away from the street. No changes are proposed to the existing three car garage location and driveway. The current dimension of the current dimensions of the garage are in compliance with code standards for a three car garage. Staff recommends a condition to reduce the height of the covered front entry to a one-story feature 
and that both the front entry and the side yard patio cover are redesigned to have a compatible style in style, in scale and proportion with the existing house. The two-story covered entry and side yard covered patio column slash fascia have monumental neoclassical design influence that is inconsistent with the Mediterranean style of the existing house. There will be no change in the overall existing building height of 23 feet and 6 inches. The new street facing addition of 745 square feet at the second floor is set back 13 feet and 5 inches from the face of the garage where a balcony is proposed to maintain a one-story height to diminish the mass. The roof form edging the deck would be better proportioned if the roof was higher and less metal railing visible. To achieve this, a reduction in the area of the deck may be required. Staff recommends a condition to reflect this refinement. Also, that the new additions maintain the existing roof eave detail throughout for consistency with the existing structure. The existing house has side facing gables with a 4 and 12 pitch. The new second story addition roof maintains a 4 and 12 pitch and introduces descending height hip roofs to reduce and visually diminish the mass and scale of the addition. For consistency of style and proportions, a condition is recommended that key element detailing that introduces a conflicting style, such as columns, fascia at the covered porch, the guardrails at the front deck be redesigned to be compatible with the proportions of the Mediterranean style of the existing house. No changes will be made to the garage doors. A condition is recommended that windows visible from the street are recessed, have external grids and sills and trim to match the existing. Field finished foam moldings and keystone details should not be used. Uh, no downspouts or gutters are shown on the drawings. A condition of approval is recommended to provide a drawing showing a roof drainage plan and elevations with gutters and downspouts for staff review and approval. Staff recommends that the design review board will approve this project with conditions as detailed in the staff report. Staff did receive one comment from a nearby neighbor during the comment period uh, regarding privacy, and I believe she'll speak today, and I gave uh, packets with um, the concerns and pictures as well from the neighbor. With that, I conclude my presentation, and I'll actually come and I'll show you pointer. So this is Brantford Street. Uh, the addition to the second floor is here. The new entryway will be here. So that's here in the rendering. And um, the new patio cover is kind of towards the rear on the side back there. And the floor area ratio maximum in this zone is 45% uh, for the first 10,000 square feet and 10% for the portion thereafter. So the total proposed uh, FAR maximum is 4,772. And what the applicant is, pro is proposing is 4,761. And the mass, max lot coverage in this area is 40 percent. Um, and with, with the new covered patio and the entry, it's going to be at 37 percent, 4,772. Minimum of landscaping is 40 percent. Um, and they're providing, they're providing 41.3 percent. With that, I conclude my presentation, and I'm available for questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, are there any questions for staff? Um, I, I do have a question. Um, one of the items that seemed to be missing from the packet was a neighborhood survey of the neighboring homes. Mm -hmm. Has applicants submitted one? Uh, yes. Was that not included in the packet? There was a package of pictures, pictures. of different sides yeah. of the same house, the subject property, but there was not one 
of neighboring homes that we yeah. normally see. Has that been? That's actually right there, in the middle right there, right here. The, this document here that? Uh, uh, the photographic surveys. Oh, OK. Yeah. What's that? This one? Oh, that's this. That's the location. Oh. OK, yes. thank you. Yeah. And I apologize, earlier I abbreviated your name to Nazarian when I should have. Oh, yeah. um, Man, this area. Okay. Um, so this is the photo survey. Okay. And then I have no other uh, questions for staff. Um, let's go ahead and open up the public comment portion. Um, I have three speaker cards. Uh, Garo Nazarian, the applicant. Come on by, Mr. Nazari, and state your name for the record. Uh, Go good ahead. evening, yeah. Mr. Chair and board members. My name is Karo Nazari. I'm with Domus Design. Uh, as the project being presented to you, it's a, a, a small addition to the existing house that 34 uh, square feet in the ground level, just to uh, uh, enhance maybe the you know the foyer uh, entry area to the house and uh, the second floor uh, addition on top of the garage for uh, bedroom two bedroom areas and we uh, meet all the zoning code there is no variance or any uh, discretionary permit uh, needed for this project and uh, I uh, just followed the conditions and the presentation by the Mr. Manasarian uh, <coughs> The conditions, as mentioned, uh, it's acceptable. Just one item that I don't agree with that, that lowering that uh, foyer, the entry area to the one level, uh, one story level. Uh, the existing house, by looking to the uh, pictures, even though it's a one story house, but looking from the street, you will see this huge roof that is going up, you know, all the way. We are not uh, exceeding to the existing height. Without that addition, you see on the picture, it's a huge roof that you see from the street. By this addition, we give more articulation to the building. And that massiveness of the roof, it has been solved. And uh, as mentioned, Spanish, what I call light Mediterranean or Tuscan style houses, which this kind of the uh, entry area, it's uh, complementary to this design. And the same concept with the entry, you know, that two-story or high-level foyer entry area for the house, it's uh, again, the next two buildings to this one, they have the same element in the front. I think that you have the pictures that you see. Uh, beside of that, uh, I don't have any problem with uh, other conditions. As mentioned, the garage door is remaining. It's a wooden stained door. It's a very nice garage door. We are not changing it. And uh, the front windows and the details, it will match the existing one. Just one question or concern that I have, the existing front windows, which they have um, the dividers, they are internal. Just maybe on the second floor, going with the external dividers, it will help or not, I don't know. But I don't mind you know, to go external or... Uh, if you have any other question, I will be more than happy to answer. I have a question. Mr. Yes, Ronan. So I just wanted to double check if I heard you correctly. So you're, you're fine with all the conditions that staff has outlined except for the... The uh, height of the... Yeah. So the style and matching the columns yeah, and yeah, all that you're yeah. good with. Which always, I think that I do already, because looking to the columns that I'm proposing, exactly but matches. you can enhance it, basically. Oh, I okay. will, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> the color sample that you've put up, the yellow and, and also the crimson red for the garage. That red, it's a 
kind of mistake. You know, we couldn't match the stain color of the existing garage door. The exi that is for the garage door calling that color, is not. We are keeping the wooden garage door stain, which is a kind of dark wooden color. We are okay, keeping so the same. Whatever is depicted in the pictures will stay as far yes. as the garage door yes. stain. Yes. And then the yellow as well, I, I assume you're matching When the yellow, is... that material board, it shows the exact color of stock I'm using it. On the printing, it never, um, I okay. can match Are you color. repainting the existing house, the first level? Yeah, we are going to do the whole thing the same color. Are you, uh, and that yellow seems a, a more of a burnt, louder yellow than the pale yellow of the existing house? Mm -hmm. uh, was that the intent, to go with a more pronounced, kind yes. of vibrant color? Yes. Was that your choice or the client's choice? It was with, uh, with the owner's approval. I see. I will tell you that yellow. The, no, 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 you can't talk unless you come up. You can they, they call wait you until you get like colored. Oh, so it was owner driven, the yellow. Okay. The owner right now is agree with the lighter. Oh. And uh, the new roof tiles you're matching with? Matching the existing, everything matching. And the uh, roof, eaves, everything, it, it will match with that. And it seems as though, at least on the rear, the windows don't have grid. Or most no, they don't have grid. And, but uh, the front ones have internal existing Internal grids. existing grids, yeah. And that's one of the items you're asking, I guess, our opinion. I don't argue. If it should be external, I have okay. the new ones, I will put external grids. I have no other questions. I just have one other question. Um, did anyone, anyone else have a question? Okay. On your east view, um, which is not a, there's not a good uh, picture, but on your east view, you have uh, what's kind of like a, a bay window. Uh, that is existing kitchen looking to floor plans that I have the bay window. It's ex uh, I'm uh, sorry. Okay. So that's the existing kitchen. Can I approach? Please. You're talking about this window? No, there's a <coughs> yeah, there's, there's a, a window. garden window here. There's a garden window yeah, that is here. Where, where is the, the it's existing kitchen. It's in this location. Yeah. We are relocating the kitchen. We are putting the kitchen here. And we are for because of this uh, patio cover that we have, we are having a new you know, swing doors. We are okay, uh, taking okay, so that you're not, you haven't you, you hadn't labeled your uh, I guess the little E, uh, the existing first floor plan, got it. Yeah. So you're relocating your kitchen. You're reworking the interior. And then, the, so, okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I have one other question. Sure. Um, what's what's driving the the, the patio uh, the the patio structure versus like a retractable awning or something of that nature? What's driving that thought? Mm, the owners they are kind of outdoor people too. You know they party, they eat. You know outdoor and uh, you know retractable one. It's not permanent thing and it gets damaged. It's a bigger you know the maintenance. But this is a and it's matching to the building too because we have the same kind of the patio in the rear too. And because of, of that patio, it's that the owner, even it's a costly, it's relocating the kitchen to enjoy that outdoor seating area that we are proposing. And are you proposing any uh, access from the bedrooms on no. that patio deck on top? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other question? We're good. Thank you. Next speaker, Tigran uh, Basmajan. <coughs> Tigran Basmajan. 
Good evening. Thank you for the time to discuss the plans. Um, just to give context to the conversation, you know, we've been through the design review board process a few times, and before we made any revisions, we were very thoughtful in looking around to see what the um, neighboring designs look like and meticulous in the planning of the details here. So what we wanted to achieve is something that would, you know, really um, allow for the existing structure to stay intact. Uh, and what we believe to be our beautiful plans um, that you see are showcased uh, would really appreciate the approval based on um, the existing recommendation. I could understand that, you know, um, staff had a different interpretation of what the architectural um, layout looked like, but we were extremely thoughtful in the way that we brought these elements together. If the columns need to be modified slightly, I could understand that. I'm, I'm good with that. But the height um, is critical in that the balcony up front, um, if it wasn't allowed to be at the height, uh, would basically look onto a, a roof line. So there just wouldn't be any consistency. Uh, and as you drive up and down Kildon and the street um, uh, just south of Bramford, there are a number of homes that have the same height in the entry. Um, I understand the architectural narrative. Um, but even on our street, very similar uh, layout, uh, and we reviewed um, you know, a lot of this in preparation of, of what we've presented to be something we believe is a, um, you know, beautiful design that would enhance, um, you know, not only the structure, but the street in, the, in that uh, neighboring, neighboring community. The patio was, for us, um, incredibly important. We've got four boys that are constantly back there uh, that play in the garden area that's uh, uh, in the plans there opposite of where the pool layout is and we never really had an opportunity to have direct access to where the kids play they're young between you know eight months and, and seven years old that allows us you know to access with a covered patio to be able to be there with the kids and we spend a lot of time outdoors and just don't have the practical um, space to be able to enjoy that uh, with the number of kids running around the house so um, all of this was done in a way that we could maximize this within code state compliant, not ask for anything that we don't believe is, you know, just reasonable based on the layout, and uh, would appreciate, you know, um, your consideration to make this possible. Thank That's you. all I have. Yeah. Any questions? Okay. Questions? No? Okay. Um, Catherine is... Ishragi. Ishragi. I couldn't tell if the G was silent or not. Um, please state your name for the record, even though we I'm just, sorry. Please state your name for the record. Oh, my name is uh, Catherine Ashragi, and uh, good evening to you all. Uh, I'm the neighbor to the left of 1026 Bramford Drive, and my parents and I have lived in Glendale in this house for 30 years. This house was originally bought by my parents, Dr. and Mrs. Ashragi, and now I reside there with my mother. My father, Dr. Ashragi, who passed away last year, was also a well-known physician and gastroenterologist in the city of Glendale, who has given service to the community at large, and more specifically to the Armenian community for, many, for these many years. We have the following concerns regarding the construction project at 1026 Bramford Drive. As you know, this house has already been reconstructed once in 2004 with dire consequences in terms of loss of privacy for us. During the previous construction phase, my parents, being old-fashioned uh, and not understanding their rights as homeowners, didn't come to these meetings and ended up regretting it afterwards. I'm here today to remedy this past neglected situation. As is evident from the pictures, the original house that was there before at 1026 Bramford Drive did not have clear windows and didn't have ex an expansive balcony overlooking into every aspect of our yard, pool area, balcony, upstairs, family room, daily life, and this is exactly the problem with adding more windows on the second story that will take away our already abolished privacy by the previous construction project. In addition, this is an, as you all know, this is an upscale neighborhood. Privacy is highly valued in these neighborhoods. It's not meant to be an apartment dwelling somewhere in downtown Glendale where people would be staring at, at each other through windows. Also, the property at 1026 Bramford Drive also has, already has five bedrooms, and this need for more bedrooms is frankly puzzling. However, if the need for extra space exists, 
Uh, for these neighbors, further violation of the spatial privacy will not be good for either property as it will devaluate lower property values. Uh, also, this property has, as you know, ample space on the opposite side of the property that can be used for addition of a second story without further inconvenience or a loss of privacy for us. We ask that the board reconsider and not approve any more windows or openings looking into or directed at our yard or house and building at 1022 Bramford Drive where we reside, or perhaps consider building on the other side of the property. And can you please figure out a way, if at all possible, to ameliorate the current situation to restore our already lost pri privacy back to us with the existing balcony and our windows that were built in 2004? As is evident from these pictures, I, I gave you some packets as well, um, if you have pictures. Uh, the original house that was there before the 2004 construction had taken all privacy issues into considera consideration when it was built. And as you can see from the pre-2004 pictures, only had a small stained glass window that was looking into our yard and our daily life. Um, Catherine, I'm just going to... Yes, um, go caution. Ahead. I think Mr. Collin forgot to set the timer when you first started. We're going to give you another 30 seconds to wrap up. We have read the packet that you've sent and looked I at did. the pictures okay. of your dad on the balcony uh, with, with uh, the rear view of the, of the uh, house you, that sir. wasn't there. So, yes. um, But for the record, just 30 more seconds to wrap up, please. I just, you all mentioned the color. It's just, I, I just want to say that uh, the bright, the house is actually bright yellow color, and when um, the, the, this color was chosen when it was finished all the neighbors were dismayed really because there isn't any house this color in this neighborhood so perhaps you might want to reconsider harmonizing the exterior paint of this house while you maybe a lighter lemon thank you also uh, for your time and attention to this matter and have a, a great memorial day thank you did you have any questions for me? any questions no thank you okay. um Mike Pierre, are you gonna? You're not gonna speak. I need you to come up uh, to the to the podium if you're gonna speak, sir. And please state your name for the record. Mike Pierre. Welcome. All right. This is actually not the case that we're here for. The case is for property 1040. So. Uh, 1040. 1040 on Kildonan. Kildonan is not noticed for today's not, not meeting. Here. Um, Excellent. Thank you. And uh, no problem. No problem. But thanks for participating in the process, and we'll see you when Kildonan's up. Okay. Um, seeing no speakers, uh, speaker cards, if there's anyone else that would like to speak on the matter, uh, no, then I'd like uh, to invite the applicant back up for a two-minute rebuttal. Mm, just I want to mention on the 2004 uh, addition job that is I wasn't involved. I'm not aware of that. But even if, since that 2004, this process, you no know, notification was there. And, uh, I don't know what's happened who attended the meeting or not, opposing or not opposing, I'm not aware of it. Just for these two small windows that we are pro proposing uh, in the side looking to the neighbors, I have an aerial photo of it. The pictures that we are proposing, can I bring Is it the same aerial that we have up? Oh, okay. The windows, it's almost in the front of the building, you know, it's, it is in the front of the building. And looking to the, to the neighbor's building, there is no opening or any window across that windows. Can we get a street shot of that neighborhood, neighbor's corner and then maybe give them the light so we can actually see it for a second? The street view of the neighbor's house. So if you pan to the right, that's the left. So I think that the windows, it doesn't violate any you know, privacy. And it's almost that area is visible from the street. And, and these are bedrooms, right? Bedrooms. And the bedrooms having the main window glazing toward the street on top of the garage with the door. These are just a small two window, just the light and there is no privacy issues yeah. from window yeah. from bad bedroom windows anyways. Okay. Thank you. Any other Thank comments? You. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, seeing no other comments, we're going to go ahead and close the public comment hearing and open this up for deliberation. Who would like to start? Can't start. Mr. Billion? So, based, uh, based on the overall square footage of the house, I, I really believe this is a, a modest addition. And uh, I tend to agree with the uh, with staff uh, conditions, with most of them at least, about making the the, the style consistent. And if you look at when when I first looked at the package and I looked at this elevation here, I also agreed with their condition about the height of the entry, until I looked at this, and that's when it became clear the point you're trying to make where. Over here, the way this looks, if you look at the entryway and elevation, it looks like it's becoming too busy with the second floor. But in reality, that's set to the front, so it doesn't really interfere with the roof line. And in my opinion, is adding character to, to the space itself. And for that, not facing directly the street, I, I don't think I'm going to have an issue with it. Uh, other than that, I think the architect mentioned that he's good with all the conditions and he can work with staff to achieve those. So I can, uh, I can support the project just uh, and crossing that condition about the entryway. These are my comments. About the yellow color, I think I missed it. So is that the accurate yellow color? The material board the apparently material? is oh. more. No, 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 no classification. So, did you want to have, bring up the uh, application? Sure, question? we can answer. All right, so there's a question for the applicant. Uh, either the uh, homeowner or the applicant come up. Have to yeah. come up and explain that to us. Yeah, sorry. Um, that color is extremely misleading in terms of how bright and dark of yellow shade it looks like. We were going for a lighter Mediterranean. Um, cream, if you will, that would actually subdue the current yellow, because I'm not a fan okay. of that current yellow. I'd like it to go on the Good. cream. Yeah, I yeah. just couldn't. So when we repainted it, we were going for the lighter creams um, that would be basically the opposite of that bright yellow. Okay. Yeah. But you, you have, you've submitted this material board, mm -hmm. and this material board has a color for the stucco called the Apricot Glow. Mm -hmm. So is that the color you're going for? We would like to revise that if possible and go for a, a lighter tone that's not as bright, He's a traditional it's the cream. He's of that, more of a cream. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm hearing that, that yeah. Yeah. why we have this particular color. Yeah. Okay. And, and the red, from what I heard earlier, is not a good representation either. No. We're going to keep the existing stained doors of the garage, mm -hmm. and that crimson red is not a good representation either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going for the lighter cream. Any other questions? So is that more of the existing color or? Yeah, you know, I think okay. in terms of having to pick these color palettes, um, I think we might have, we might not have visually um, connected the dots on what that would have looked like just looking at pictures of, you know, exteriors that we wanted to, you know, duplicate. It, we're lo looking for a very light cream, traditional Mediterranean color, going away from the bright solids. If that makes. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. So yeah. Other than that, the color um, I would like for it to go away from this bright yellow. Um, so I'd like to hear that from the owner. Um, other than that, the rest of the uh, additions they seem reasonable. As Mr. Bellion mentioned, I'm still thinking about the entryway. Um, yeah, that's it for now. And, and I forgot to mention, if I may, Chair, Please. about the privacy issues. Typically, we don't look at uh, bedrooms, uh, windows looking out of bedrooms. We're not concerned with privacy. When it comes to that, we can't. We'll, f we'll further more on that privacy issue so that the conversation is co uh, co concurrent with that. From that corner of the proposed corner, you'd be looking at the chimney stack, the brick chimney stack of the neighboring property. 
Um, so I don't, I don't think that that's. Uh, unless there's a question for you. Okay, we are not going to have cross communication. The applicant gets the rebuttal. Okay, you had your, you had more than the typical three minutes allotted, and you've also submitted a very uh, lengthy document which I personally have reviewed with the pictures and I appreciate you doing that but the fact is that, that this uh, aerial photo shows to us that the corner of your home has a chimney on it and not a window so the privacy concern would from that corner would be I don't think even from a bit we're, we're just okay Mr. Simone would you like to um, so overall, I, I uh, uh, agree with uh, Mr. Billings' comments and also staff's conditions. I think um, some of my initial thoughts were encompassed in staff's conditions as well, and I'm glad that overall there is a willingness by applicant um, to work with staff. Um, my primary concerns, of course, was the bright apricot glow color of that yellow and I'm glad that the intention is not that and so as a condition I would add that the material board as presented would be uh, the color of both the building elevation and the barrage door colors to be revised and the building elevation is more of a paler yellow a pale creamish yellow I think is what was described Correct, and then the stain of the existing garage doors will be maintained. Besides that, the um, material board, the other items on the material board could stand. But overall, I um, also agree with Mr. Billion in that the entryway is, is not too monolithic when compared with the overall neighborhood and some of the existing um, examples that are there, and so I support staff's condition minus the one entry comment and the addition of the color clarification. Okay. Um, I can't determine if for me the project looked like it was overly busy um, based on the color or some of the element pieces that are um, around the home. Um, for example, on the west, uh, southwest corner in the, one of the pictures, you have depicted two details on the columns. On the patio, uh, uh, on the uh, larger balcony and, and covering, there's only one detail there. Um, there seems to be some consistency issues. Um, and so if we're going to add a new uh, balcony, uh, or excuse me, new patio, I think we need to kind of choose what that detail is going to be so it's consistent because there's some inconsistencies that's one of the things. um and i think that that is going to go a long way to address uh, some concerns um i'm very sympathetic to the privacy concerns uh but unfortunately as mr bellion indicated when the uh, area is a bedroom we are, are not uh, we don't have a purview to discuss privacy from bedrooms um, if this was a common area where people would uh, congregate, we could, uh, but not from a, a common from a bedroom, and we don't have any additional windows. You know, the time for some of these concerns may have been back when the property was built in 20, 2004 or changed in 2004. But what's in front of us is that. So I think uh, it is a modest uh, addition for this uh, for the type of neighborhood this is in and the type of. Uh, homes that are in this neighborhood um, so I would be in support of the project with the condition stated except for condition one um, on the staff report so with that uh, if there are any other comments if not we'll I go ahead and entertain a motion I can make a motion to approve the project with the stated conditions is there a second Let's get a roll call, please.
Uh, Member Arjumanian. I'm might as well do the roll call. Yeah, go ahead. Board Member Arjumanian? Yes. Board Member Benlian? Yes. Board Member Simonian? Yes. Chairman Charshian? Yes. Okay. Approval on the board zero vote. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The next matter on calendar is uh, 1970 Ridgeview. That would be PDR case number 1804178. And this is being presented by Ms. Boakanya. Whenever you're ready. Good evening, Design Review Board members. The case before you, uh, let me just change the board. This was also submitted to us. That's only one copy. The case before you is the design review case number PDR 1804178, located at 1970 Rangeview Drive. The applicant is proposing to demolish the existing one story, 1,735 square foot single family residence and the detached two car garage and to construct a new 3,270 square foot one story single family residence with an attached 450 square foot two car garage and a 12,735 square foot lot located in the R1 floor area ratio district one zone. The project site is a relatively flat interior lot with, front, with frontage on Rangeview Drive. Um, the proposed also includes new, new circular driveway, new attached 519 square foot patio cover at the rear of the house, new detached 544 square foot pool patio cover at the rear of the property, and new landscaping and new swimming pool. Design review application case number PDR 1703934 was previously considered by the Design Review Board on June 8, 2017, and the case was returned for redesign with seven conditions. This proposal, the current proposal, had been revised to address the conditions of previous DRB decision. Um, in terms of the site planning for this new proposal, the new one-story house with an attached two-car garage facing Rangeview Drive is consistent with development pattern and site planning of the neighboring properties. The proposed house will not alter the site planning of the existing house significantly. The existing house has a front setback of 34 feet and 6 inches, which would be changed to 28 feet, similar and consistent with adjacent properties and larger than the neighborhood average of 26 foot front setback. The existing house has an interior setback of three feet on the south side and 22 feet on the north side along the existing driveway. The new house will be set back six feet from the north and south property line and will provide appropriate distances from the adjacent properties as required by the zoning code. New circular driveway with decorative paving will replace the existing a concrete driveway and landscape at the front of the house. The location of the new attached garage and new circular driveway are appropriate to the neighborhood, which has a mixture of attached and detached garages. The proposed six foot boundary walls with stucco finish and wrought iron gates complement the overall design. In terms of the mass and scale, the overall scales and proportion of the proposed one story house are similar to the mass and scale of the existing house as compatible with the neighborhood, uh, pro neighbor, neighboring properties. The overall height of the house will be 19 feet, lower than the maximum allowable height in this zone, which is 28 feet. 
The proposed front elevation is appropriately articulated with projection of garage, the entry porch, and the projecting three-sided bay window. The, the roof configuration, which is a combination of hip roof with a roof pitch of three feet in 12 feet, are appropriate to the overall context and design and help reduce the sense of mass in relation to the street and adjacent properties. The placement and mass of the proposed two chimneys are appropriate to the overall design as well. In terms of the um, design and details, the proposed architectural details and materials, including smooth stucco finish, stone veneer wainscot, roof tile, primary door, garage doors, and overall material and texture and color reinforce the proposed contemporary design concept and are consistent with the architectural style of the neighboring houses. The front entry with double pane metal door is well integrated into the overall design. The material, size, and type of the windows are appropriate to the style of the house as well. The windows will be aluminum clad wood, aluminum clad wood fixed and casement windows with stone seals at the front facade. And all the windows will have external grids. And they're gonna be recessed within the walls. Mm. I'm going to uh, like over the conditions of the approval from the previous board, and um, I will have a um, explanation of how the conditions have been met in this so proposal. I think we've I think it's in your report, right? So we've yes, read, it we've read it, the, report. the conditions, and we have the previous report from last time yes. that we've mm -hmm. also reviewed. So. Uh, and it's also part of the public record for those of the viewing public that would like to reference it. Um, basically, the only condition that you have, it's a new condition, uh, there's, I think, one. Yeah, for the Maybe new read that report, into the we record. have one condition. Yes. Do you want me to go over that one? Just, condition? yeah, just read that into the record. Obtain a street tree permit for removal and planting replacement trees and adhere to tree protection guidelines required by the city's urban forestry section for the work near the street trees. Okay, thank you. No problem. Um, are there any questions for staff? No? Okay, no questions for staff. I'm gonna call the one and only speaker, uh, Amir Kachem. Only speaker that I have. Is it Kasem? Thank you. Uh, good evening, Chairman, Board Member. Uh, my name is direction. Amir Qasim. I'm uh, with DK Design, located in 29641 Southwestern in Rancho Paulus Verdes. Uh, this is my second uh, uh, um, uh, second time I'm here. The first time it was uh, proposed to come back with uh, uh, redesign with seven condition. We went through uh, with uh, planning in every single condition, and as a result, this. Uh, new design, uh, hopefully it will be uh, approved this time. If you have any questions, let me know. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Thank you. Sure. All right. Uh, no other speaker cards. Going to close out the public comment portion of the hearing and open it up for deliberation. Who would like to start? Mr. Simone? Mm -hmm. um, I was not present at, at the first hearing, uh, but I've gone through case and I've looked at it and I really like the direction you've taken I think the way to really describe this design to me the current design is very comfortable it has a very comfortable low scale one story feel to it and I think um, that has a lot to do with the architecture and it also has to do with this you have this incredible lot that's 84 feet wide it's just phenomenal to have that sort of frontage and so you're able to really design a very rectilinear one-story facade and, um, and at the same time integrate the garage doors into it, but then the garage only takes up, I don't know, 25% of the facade. So overall, it has a very nice old-school proportionality to it that, that's kind of hard to achieve with the 50-foot lots uh, that are 50-foot wide. In addition, you're able to then use the majority of the site for your backyard needs. So overall, um, I'm very much support the site planning. Uh, the design has really 
develop nicely as well in, in, in relation to the entryway and also the windows and, and the way that you've integrated the building base, the stone base, I think is really nice. So overall, I'm, I'm, I'm very much in support of the project. The one condition that staff has is, is a minor condition and, and uh, overall, I think it's job well done. Thank you. Um, I wasn't here. I was, I was doing this. <laughs> That's fine. Um, for the first hearing, but I can see all the conditions from the previous um, hearing was addressed properly, and we always appreciate that. Um, I'm in support of the project. Great work. Okay, Mr. Ponyan. I can go, and I can't say I wasn't here because I was. <laughs> And yes, I, I would uh, I agree with my colleagues. Uh, big difference from uh, from the last submittal. I think you, the architect, has done a really good job picking up all the all the all the conditions. And uh, I, I totally agree with Mr. Simonian. It, it it does feel comfortable. Does feel good. It uh, I think it fits the neighborhood, the setbacks, the finishes, the mass, the scale. I think it's all there, so I'm definitely in support and job well done. Okay, I'm gonna limit, I'm not gonna have any comments, so I'll just go ahead and call for a motion and we'll call vote. I'll make a motion to approve the project with the stated condition. I second, go ahead. I second that. Okay, roll call please. Mr. Right. Bellion? Yes. Board Member Arzumonian? Yes. Board Member Simonian? Yes. Chairman Church? Yes. Motion passes. And, and this was this was record, I think. I it took yeah. less than three minutes. <laughs> no, normally it's three hours. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, we have We have three minutes. Three sets of minutes that maybe we can pull off in less than three minutes. Um, so the speak. only one that I think is an issue is the April sixteenth. Uh, 2018, we do not have, um, well, actually, no, we would have quorum of the members present. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're fine. I apologize. Let's go, go ahead. One by one. Yes, by date. Okay, so April 12th. Motion Are there to any approve. changes? If not, can I get a motion? Can I see the minutes? Because there was one that I had some comments. I believe that was the April 16th. April 16th, okay. Which property? Because you've been gone for You're a done. while. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Yeah, it's the Lurd Drive. Perfect. I'm going to pick up. Open. That's for the April 16th? Mm -hmm. No, 12. Yeah, that's April 12th. Okay, did we have changes on the 12th? Yes. I have some comments, so I'm going to. I'm just opening my comments. Okay, so do, should we, if there are no comments on the 16th and 26th, do we yeah, take let's, those let's out of order? Do those, yeah. Okay, so motion. Uh, do maybe one motion and one second for both of those? Yeah, so can I get a motion for approval of April uh, 16th minutes and April 26th minutes, please? I move to approve the minutes. A second. And technical issue. There's a technical issue, Mr. Okay. Collins. And I think Mr. Belling needs to do approve those. We have to take them. We have to take them in in, in order and separately. Uh, the 26th is it the same? I, I wasn't here. Second. On the no, Mr. Collins. Let's let's do this again. Um, I need a motion for approval of the April 16th minutes from Mr. Belling, and I'm going to pass my chairship. Motion to approve uh, the. April 16 minutes. Uh, so I will second. Okay, are we ready for the 12th or not yet? Not yet. Let, okay. Let's leave that so last. And so I would need a motion from uh, Mr. Malikian uh, for approval on the 26th. Mr. Sorry, Mr. Simonian. I move to approve the minutes associated with April 26th. I pass my gavel and uh, would second. We have Mr. Simonian with the motion and Mr. Charchin with the second for the 26th. Correct. Yes. 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 Okay. And then what about the 12th? 
is that something maybe if you've got in writing that I can take and pass it on to make sense to you, or how do you? No, we can we can discuss it. Should we discuss it? Sure. Should I email them later? No, no, just to, let's discuss it. We have the time and let's get it done. Okay. So condition condition number one. It's a revised landscape plan to include number of sizable oak trees and other native vegetation at the graded but unpaved portion of the driveway to help restore this illegally graded area and prevent its future vehicular use. Uh, I, I would like to add new oak trees shall be tagged and registered by the city arborist and shall be planted slash situated to prevent further vehicular use of the driveway because I think that's what we were trying to do. So for clarification, Mr. Bellion, that those were comments made during the deliberations that were not uh, Correct. properly transferred onto the minutes? Correct. And, and, and Jay is the one that took these notes. He, I think he, he's the one that mm -hmm. processed the conditions. So I don't know if we if he needs to be here. That, my recollection is that that was the intent. Um, was it Mr. Simonian? Uh, was also here. Was that your recollection? Ms. Arvazami was also here. I, I had abstained from that case. Oh, that's right. You were present, but not for that mm -hmm. matter. And is that clearly indicated uh, for that particular matter that Mr. Yes. Simonian was abstained and was not present? Yes, Mr. Chairman. There it is. Okay. Um, so, Ms. Arvazami, was that your recollection? As well. Can I know where you're looking at again? Sorry. It's the the meet, meeting minutes from the April 12th. 12. It's April 12th, and the project the project is Lerd, a uh, 910 Lerd Drive. Condition number one. Mm hmm. So that passed the record decision. So, would you repeat your? I mean, all, all I'm trying to say is they need to be registered and, 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 registered. and tagged from the, the arborist and planted at that location to block the driveway because that's the that, area that... That's the, yeah. that's mm -hmm. yeah. the clear amount. That's clearly what I remember. Is that what you yeah. remember? Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, ask uh, that um, correction to be uh, made. Uh, I'm going to... Pass this over to Mr. Billion and have you write it exactly what you would like that to say, and then I'll sign this. Okay. That would be useful. Copy. Thank you. Were there any should should we discuss them all? And yeah, there's other sure. comments too. Oh, there are. There is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, item number two. Uh, it say reduce the square footage or mass of the house. I think there was no or at that point. We were giving direction that the, the house needs to get smaller. And and the, they reduce mass or square footage. So now I'm, I'm just afraid it's going to come back the same, the same size. So I don't know what you guys decide on that. But that was my. Uh, that one I don't have a clear ref uh, rec yeah. uh, reference point for. So what I'd like to do is then. If it's okay with my colleagues, since uh, we uh, are going into this, I'd like you to raise your concerns, but maybe defer a vote on this until such time that I personally or the other members that would like to view the record um, and then um, make sure that we are accurate, accurately reflecting those changes. Okay. And I, I would like to make comment also on number three because number three also the same thing. They're saying revise the site plan to accomplish the goals of condition one and two, including the possible repositioning. I mean, it wasn't possible. We were giving a very clear direction that we needed the house to get repositioned so we can block that area. So this is, you're just leaving it open-ended. That's, that's what I'm afraid of. I understand. Do you want to get rid of the word possible? Correct. Mr. Bell, maybe insofar as what Mr. Chachin is recommending, you could circulate an email with your proposed condition and language, and that way the other board members could have it as they're I'll reviewing do it. Yeah, I think that that's, that's a good, better idea. I think idea. that's what we'll need to do, and uh, you would send it to staff 
and then staff would circulate. Yeah, we can update the the minutes. The minutes and the as correct. So we want to approve them at this time, and we can update it for what you're requesting. Okay. Yeah. And then you can take another look at it to make sure that we got it. Okay. Does that work? Sure. Good. So could we okay. move to adjourn at this point? Yeah. Um, with uh, two of the three minutes approved and the time at uh, 6 or 09. We move to adjourn. Motion for adjournment. Motion for adjournment? Yep. Sure. Yes. As I said, Mr. Simone. Mr. Simone, you made the motion. Ms. Harzami seconded. Right, so We're adjourned. Zero.